Hi foodies, welcome to my kitchen. This is Jenny here from Jenny's Kitchen and Jenny's Walk. So today foodies, I'm gonna make a lovely uh, Middle Eastern rice and mung dal together. It's a kimchi, kimichi, sorry. Uh, you could kichuri, kichori, kichuri. It is where rice and the dal cook together with aromatics and spices and we add some flavors into it and it's cooked with ghee. So what I'm making mine today with, I'm gonna be using mung. The mung beans, I'm gonna, a mung bean. And this is what mung bean look like. I'm sure you all know what this is. This is what you will find. This will be sprouted out and you make that Chinese fried rice. That is what it is. And when you clean it up, this is what it looks like. This is the mung dal. You see it, it's all clean and it's in there. So what I did, I went ahead here and I soaked that mung dal with some basmati rice. So we softened both of them up really nicely together. So what we need to put this lovely dish together, I'm gonna to be using some ghee, uh, vegetable ghee, or if you have cow ghee, that will work also. And I have two bay leaves and one big onion chopped really nicely. I have some chopped tomato, ginger garlic paste, and here I have parsley, cilantro, and uh, chives, and some leek. I have that all cut nicely together. Of course, I'll be using my Himalayan pink salts, and I have lots of spices that we're gonna be needing to put this dish together. So I'm gonna to go step by step. So the first thing what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be cooking the mung bean and the rice together. We're gonna to saute that up really nicely with some turmeric. So as we go by, I'm gonna call all the spices and what I'm doing and putting into the pot. So let's get started. So here we go foodies. My pot is really warm and nice. I'm using my Copper Chef pan and I'm gonna add the ghee just like so. And to the ghee, I'm gonna add a little bit of, this is, this is not cumin, but this is um, a dehydrated fruit fennel. I'm going to add some of that in there and I'm going to let that come up to a little more heat because I wanted to infuse just a little bit, not too much infusion for that. And now in goes uh, some turmeric. This is not saffron, this is turmeric or haldi, the powder. I'm going to add a little bit of that, get it infused and get a nice color in there. And this is coriander. I'm waiting for the heat to come up really nicely. I'm gonna give it a little drizzle of the coriander right on the side here. In goes that bay leaf, just like so. All mixed together, very nice. Now you add the rice and that mung bean or mung dal. I'm gonna cook this up for two minutes. So this looks beautiful, my dear foodie. I'm gonna just add a little bit of my Himalayan pink salt, and we're gonna add that boiling water, and we're gonna have this cook. Just like so, boiling water, good mix. Let the salt mix in together. Lid on, just like so. And I'm gonna start the second part of this dish now. So for this while we have that first part of this kitchery cooking there, have it on low heat, let that cook nicely. Now in this saucepan, what we're gonna continue now to do is saute the rest of the ingredients. So in here I have some ghee again. And to this we're gonna add some methi, some methi seed, let that infuse really nicely there together. Really nice, just like so going to give this a, a quick minute now in goes some cumin or jira this is the seeds let it just let its aromatics out lovely now in goes the onion to the onion I'm going to give it a little pinch of salt and I'm going to have this going for three minutes so there you go foodies the onions look marvelous. So now in goes our ginger garlic paste. Put all of them in just like so and let that infuse. 
The kitchen smells so aromatic. So what we're doing here, my dear foodies, is building flavor. And you know, here at Jenny's Kitchen, we're here to learn, we're here to share, and we're here to create. So this is a nice recipe my great-grandmother used to make. A one-pot meal. Uh, my viewers and my audience in the island, they would know, in Trinidad especially, they would know a lot about this. Kitchori. A kitchori. So now in goes some garam masala, half a tablespoon full of garam. Some paprika, half a tablespoon full. And half a tablespoon full of cumin or jira roasted. And half a tablespoon full of bira bira curry. That bira bira is an Ethiopian spice curry. Half a teaspoon full of amchar masala. A little sprinkle of coriander. You all know coriander. And as you know, we're cooking with proteins, which is uh, beans. So we're gonna be using our hing or asafoetidus. Little dash of that to calm the gas down. And let's not forget, back again with some turmeric. I'm gonna come by all the spices together again, just like so. All these spices are already cooked. The perfect the perfection. So what we're doing with the heat, we're just raising it up. We're just waking up the flavors. Lovely. Now what we're going to be adding now is that chopped fresh tomato. Let's lower the heat a little bit. In goes the tomato. And our herb. Here I have the mint, parsley, cilantro, charlotte, Spring onion, sorry, not charlotte. Give this a good mix and some leek. We're gonna cook this up really nicely on low heat. I'm gonna add a little water to this and let this continue cooking until it breaks down. So foodies, let's take a look and see what's going on with the kitchery, the rice, mung bean. Wow, it smells lovely in here. Lovely, nice. Cook really lovely together. So now at this point, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add, remember what we made here? I'm gonna add that in. Flavor of the rice. Ooh, the heavy spoon now. Just like so. Now some of you may like this rice sticky. Some of you may like it grainy. But the authentic recipe is a bit sticky. So you just go ahead and make it how you like it. There you go. Does have a lot of liquid in it still. So I will let this go for a little more time. So don't forget to like and share this lovely recipe with your friends and your family. Here at Jenny's Kitchen, you know, we're here to learn, we're here to share, we're here to create. So this lovely moong dal kitchery. So I'm gonna just cover the pot and let this go for a few more minutes. So there you go foodies, the lovely mung dal and rice kitchery. I make it a little wet. See, there you go. And this is best complemented with um, coconut chutney or some, let me turn the fire off, or some tomato, roasted tomato choker. Lovely dish here. Please don't forget to like and share for your friends, family, neighbors. In this cold winter days we have ahead of us, it's a quick and easy meal, one pot meal lovely so thank you for joining me from my kitchen to your kitchen happy cooking